Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to um, worry about our other observers from our main view model. So the playback state is connected and network error. We will just deal with those. And we will also just worry about the functionality to um, be able to toggle playing our songs. So you know that we have that um, play and pause symbol in our or next to our view pager. We just want to be able to toggle our song there to play it to pause it. And we also um, implement the functionality in this video. I talked about in the in the previous video, that if we swipe a song that we also um, immediately immediately play the song we swiped to. So first of all, I want to create a global variable here, just as for our currently playing song for our playback state for the current playback state. So whether our player is um, paused, if it is prepared, all that stuff. So private var playback state, which is of type playback state compat nullable, and we set it to null by default. And then we can scroll down to our observers. Um, right here, I want to use our main view model dot observe or not observe dot playback state dot observe of course. Pass this for the lifecycle owner. So this observer will now be called every time the playback state changes. So every time we pause the the player, we play a song. Every time the player is prepared, all that stuff. So first of all we want to update our global playback state with it. And now we want to update this um, image view accordingly that is next to our view pager. So if we're currently playing, then this pause symbol should show up. And if we're not playing, so that means our player is paused, then we want to show the play symbol instead. So we will use our IV current song image dot set image resource. And here we can check if playback state question mark dot is playing. So you remember we wrote that extension function here for playback state compat. And if that is equal to true, then oh, we don't even need these um, curly brackets. If that is equal to true, we just want to set the image resource to R dot drawable dot I C pause and else we set it to R dot drawable dot I C play. And that's already it for this observe block here. Then next let's worry about our two other observers. So main view model dot is connected dot observe pass this open curly brackets here. And this time it's a little bit different because you can see we get such an event object of type resource of type boolean. And if you remember, we use this event object to just um, don't show the snack bar that we want to show here in an error case that we don't show that twice. So if we would rotate the screen, usually these observers here would fire off again. But since we wrap this around this event object, this won't happen. So because inside of the event class, we just handle that so that this event can only be emitted once. And we can do that by writing it question mark dot get content if not handled. You can see that returns a resource of type boolean that is nullable. So it will actually return the resource of type boolean the first time, but then this get content if not handled function is called. So the second time we call this on the same object, this will actually return null. So that is exactly the behavior we want here. So we use this function, make a null check. So dot let call this result, and we can make our normal check here. So when result dot status, and here we are actually only interested in the error case because we don't want to show anything to the user if um, the the we successfully connected to the music player. We only want to show something if something actually goes wrong. So we're only interested in the error case where we will write snack bar dot make you will need to pass a view, we can just choose the root layout from our activity. Then for the message, we will use result dot message. 
if that is equal to null, let's actually move this into some new lines. A little bit cleaner. If if the message is equal to null, we just want to show default message and unknown error occurred. By the way, this should actually never happen because we only emit this um, error status here for is connected once and there we just pass a message. But this message is still nullable, so we need to uh, pass something for the default value here. We could also assert that this is not equal to null, but I want to prevent that double exclamation mark operator where possible. And for the length, we will use snack bar that length long. And don't forget to call that show. Like this. And usually when we use a when expression, we always want to use, we always want to have um, such an expression here for all possible cases. So we also add an else branch. In all other cases, we just want to do nothing. So we return a unit here. And for our network error observer, we can actually use the exact same code. So just copy that, paste it below here, swap this out with a network error, and the rest is actually the same. Because when we get an error, um, then we also just want to show that in a snack bar. Now that's it for our observers. Next, we actually want to scroll up to our onCreate function and add an onClick listener to our um, play and pause image view. So IV play pause from activity main XML. Let's set onClick listener. What should happen if we click on that? Well, we of course just want to um, toggle the state of our currently playing song. So we check if our currently playing song is not equal to null. If that is not the case, um, or if that is the case rather, we want to just use our main view model dot play or toggle song. So you can see we again just need to pass a media item. We can just pass it. So our currently playing song. And this time we want to pass true for toggle because now we always want to toggle the song. Now that is a difference. If we just want to, if we just click on a new song in our list and play that, then we always just want to play that song. We then don't want to toggle it. But since we now click on our IV play pause, we always want to toggle the current song. So we just pass true for that. And now to detect if we actually swipe the item in our view pager we need to add an on page changed callback to our view pager so that we can actually play the new song we swipe to. So we need we use our view pager song, so VP song dot register on page changed uh, change callback. And here we need just need to pass such a callback. So object colon on page change callback here from the view pager two library and call the constructor, open curly brackets. And in here we can now override a function called on page. You can see we have several functions. We don't need to override all of them. We just want to override on page selected. So that function is called every time we swipe in our view pager or we actually change the current item of our view pager. So, um, what we want to do in here is we want to check um, if a song is currently playing. So if the playback state or global playback state that is playing is equal to true, like this, then we just want to play the song at this position. So this is just the position we swipe to and we can just use our main view model dot player toggle song. We want to play the song in our swipe song adapter in the songs list at the index of position, like this. And we don't want to toggle this song um, because we just swipe to the new song. We just want to play that. And in the else block, if we are currently in the pause state or at least not playing then we of course don't want to play the song because we're still in the pause state. In that case, we just want to update our currently playing song with the new song we swipe to. So 
currently playing song is equal to swipe song adapter that songs at the index of position like this and if we now run our app take a look in our emulator and then the songs are loaded and I think we used the wrong image view here let's quickly change that um, maybe you already noticed that um, in our playback state observer we want to of course not change IV current song image instead IV play pause and that makes more sense let's let's start again <laughs> um, let's see okay well this looks better so let's play a song now let's say this one and then you can see now we can see this pause symbol and we can pause the song by clicking on that the play symbol shows and if we now switch the song in our view pager and click on play then this song now plays instead so exactly what we want if the music is already playing and we swipe then the new song immediately plays so i hope this video helped you to understand how we can manage that view pager stuff if so please leave a like comment below what you think about this video what new concepts you learned and of course subscribe to my channel to not miss regular android tutorials every second day i wish you an awesome day see you in the next video bye bye